Hi, I'm Scott Helker of Waterline Boats and Boat Shed Seattle in the captain's chair aboard this 1981 Seton Neville 55 Long Range Pilot House Trawler. This is really an extraordinary boat. It was ordered and built for the then Commodore of the New York Yacht Club, and uh, which is predominantly a sail-oriented organization. So a bit of a departure, um, really designed with an express purpose in mind, that is long-range cruising, extremely capable, extremely self-sufficient cruising. It was custom-built in the Durbeck shipyard in Bradenton, Florida, and is built to just extraordinary standards. Just to illustrate the sturdiness of the construction of this boat, I have a couple of sections here uh, taken from the deck when equipment was installed. This is the foredeck. Uh, where the bow roller, one of the bow rollers, was installed. That's many, many layers of, of laminated, hand laminated fiberglass, solid and heavy. This is from uh, the aft deck area, uh, multiple layers again of fiberglass, laminate, and cord construction. Extremely sturdy. This boat was designed by Stephen Seaton and Charles Neville, very well known naval architects, acclaimed naval architects and embodies a very specific design philosophy, that of long-range offshore passage making. It's a low center of gravity, broad design, full keel, ballasted, uh, very capable in, in all kinds of weather conditions. Flybridge, uh, easy boat to move around, really enjoyable uh, for, for a cruising couple and easily managed by a cruising couple. Just to list several of the things that I think are particularly attractive features about this boat, uh, starting with the master stateroom. Very, very large, uh, abundant in space and storage. Very comfortable, easy access, walk around berth. I mean, really a, a, a extremely comfortable place akin to a, to a, a bedroom at home. Uh, the salon is comfortable and spacious. The galley has been recently redone with new appliances and countertops, as have the heads. The forward uh, guest compartment is uh, a, a nice space when there are guests aboard, but additionally there's a substantial tool room and workshop adjacent that really makes this an easy boat to, uh, to service and maintain uh, throughout one's voyages. The engine room affords good access around the engine and the other equipment. Uh, serviceability would be very high in my opinion. A lot of consideration given to reliability aboard this boat. Solar charging in addition to two separate generator systems. Just an abundance of spare parts and tools that uh, would support, uh, as the owners have enjoyed, long-range uh, remote area cruising opportunities. The lazarette is extremely roomy and the boat is capable of carrying a substantial amount of equipment in that space. Uh, water maker is installed there, dive compressor, room for lines, fenders, tools. The interior is really beautiful with uh, um, nicely finished mahogany and, and does not look to be circa 1981. Um, you know, as always, a well-constructed boat uh, holds up well and a well-maintained boat will continue to be beautiful for many, many years. Most of us in the boat business get excited about boats. That's the nature of it. That's why we're in the business. But this one really gets my heart going, I have to say. A long-range power cruiser, something that's capable of going virtually anywhere. It has demonstrated that capability. It's been maintained to a high standard, and it's prepared to do it again. Now, that's pretty exciting. You could compare this Seton Neville 55 to other well-known um, long-range ocean voyagers, Nordhaven, Katie Krogan is an example, and not be disappointed. The solidness of the construction, the equipment, the preparation that uh, is well exhibited throughout the boat is really quite phenomenal and at a tremendous price.